Back on the African continent, where Zambia's economy has been growing at a sluggish rate, averaging 3% per annum since copper prices dipped two years ago. Now, the cost of living and doing business has been soaring in the process as the country faces economic challenges after the government cut fuel subsidies last year, causing a 39% rise in petrol prices. Rising food and transport costs have made life difficult for many Zambians in recent months as the country feels the effects of a drop in demand for copper that has in turn left the economy struggling. Zambia is Africa's second biggest producer of copper, which is the mainstay of its economy. With prices near six-year lows, mining companies have closed mines and cut thousands of jobs. Zambia's currency, the kwacha, fell more than 2% in value in August, as data showed China's demand for copper has slumped 14% in July last year. In the capital, Lusaka, wheat basket bakeries is no longer selling bread as much as it used to. The fewer increase in the food production has affected us in so many ways. Because we have to buy our flour from millers, who also buy grains from farmers, who use uh, farming equipment, which usually use fuel. So the cost of production is high. At the end of the day, they pass it on to the people who buy flour from them. So when we buy flour from the millers, we bring it here. We also have to cover the fuel costs. So in, do, in the due course, we find that we also put a small increase on the finished product, which is the bread and the rolls. Zambia spent more than $200 million on fuel subsidies between January and September this year, an unsustainable burden in the Treasury, according to the Energy Ministry. Uh, the cost of living in Zambia has actually risen so high that usually I find myself spending more than 50% of my income just to travel to and from work. And also the fact that uh, in 2017, there's an anticipated increase in the electricity tariffs. The country's economy was expected to grow only 3% in 2016, largely unchanged from the previous year due to electricity shortages and subdued private sector investment.